Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here from the playoffs. It is time for the chase to begin for the American Sim Racing League. Live on Trackside Racing Network, I am your host here tonight, Adam Chapman. Once again, all season long, it has been myself, alongside my partner in crime, Derek Pemberton, Tennessee fan. Very happy today. Uh, I'm sitting over in the pink tie, snazzy looking mask. How you feeling today, buddy? You should you you should put you, I should try to find a way to put a Titans jersey in there. I don't think we can. I think it's copyright. I will find a way to put one in. It there. It would be copyright. I. You really think I care? I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, playoffs tonight, Derek. You're in the same same situation as these guys, so we can kind of talk about it. There is a little bit of a change. Four drivers get eliminated. First round, first race of the playoffs. Thoughts on it? Well. Uh, with four people getting eliminated in the first after this race tonight, um, really, I, I figure you know we might see a couple guys you know maybe just run around in the back you know yes. just try to make sure they finish the race. Yes. Now I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, now that I know that you know the first eight finishers that are in the playoffs cross the start finish line, and that's it. We might be wanting to look at the uh, near the back of the pack tonight, looking around that eighth. Uh, eighth spot in the chase to see who uh who's gonna make it who's not because i'll be honest adam it, once that white flag is out all bets are gonna be off for that eighth and final playoff spot good to see you in here by the way judy we're gonna watch uh one of your favorites coming out on the track and it's mark jenkins he's coming out for qualifying right now uh, you are going to notice some difference in the live standings you see the p beside the name that does represent that the drivers that are in the playoffs there's 12 drivers only eight will make it out like we mentioned um, and of course, they do have the yellow banner as well on the truck tonight. So, for you guys that may not see the P over there, which you probably should. Um, I, I, honestly, Adam, I'm just saying. One uh, another break. When I go, uh, yeah. When when I watch the uh, broadcast, I cannot read that standings. Yes, yeah, uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, um, all because the live thing's probably in the way. No, no, no. Like I can't read the entire like standings. Why? It's too bright. Wow, well, you got sense of eyes. Anyway, <laughs> it's underway right now. We're watching Mark. Currently, P1. Oh, a little bit of a wiggle. We'll watch him here for the rest of the qualifying as well. Let's see how he does. He wiggled a lot there out of two. We'll see if he maybe has a little bit of a wiggle out of four. He actually does a very good job of keeping that car straight. He will go to the top of the board. But, Adam, we've already got playoff drivers out there. Brent, uh, Bentley, Glasser. Going through turns one and two, Travis McDaniel coming out yep, of four right now. Watching. Coming to the line. Not a good lap. Will not improve. Yeah. Here comes Glasser. He's coming through three and four, running the top lane through three and four. Kind of a different approach to see here coming across the line. Yeah. A four seven one does not improve. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Jeff Unich, uh, he qualifies me too. Todd Craig. Fastest in practice. We'll go to the top of the board here in qualifying. Yes, sir. So that means Todd Cray up. Um, the only driver we want to go ahead and say that is. Oh, Steve Unit spinning. Oh. So that's going to end his qualifying effort. So he will qualify six for now. The only guy, Derek, that was locked in automatically was who? Uh, it'll be the four Johnny. of Johnny. Right. So, honestly. You can see one of two things. Either Johnny's going to run in the back and just have fun tonight, or he's going to run up front and try to take, uh, try to maintain momentum to have whenever he's actually got to race his way in. For sure. Uh, double play. Um, thanks for cursing me, by the way. William Kemp <laughs> out there on the racetrack. Sorry, guys. We're watching playoff baseball at the same time. Big game. Uh, <laughs> got to keep everybody up to updated. Uh, William Kemp coming to the start finish line. Starting his green flag lap this time, I thought he was actually already. Tavarthen's out there. Uh, no, Tavarthen already completed his final lap. He's in P11. Oh, oh, no, I backed her into the wall. Mm. You know, Adam, that's kind of surprising. Tavarthen's so far down the running order, but that is kind of a very Tavarthen thing to kind of uh, qualify yeah, yeah. mid to back pack. I do expect him to maybe make a small push. And oh, I mean, yeah. right now, actually. Ain't this identical to how it looked in the final practice? Like, you know, Jeff Eunice, Mark Jenkins, Todd Curry. Yeah. So actually, right now, Adam, Javarthin right now would be the last advancing playoff driver. Yeah, because right now, uh, John. Well, are you counting Johnny? Because the actually take that back. Yeah, Javarthin would, uh, would not make it. Yeah, because he because Johnny is already locked in. Yeah, so thanks a lot, Johnny. You made you made it you know, <laughs> tougher on everybody. 
we'll try something a little bit different. You know, right Adam, now. actually, there's right, someone that I just looked at, though, mm -hmm. that I'm surprised that is not in the playoffs, and that's the five truck of Todd Guest. I thought he was until I seen it, too. William Kemp calls for the top 10 five lap, going to go to 11. My pick, by the way, is out on track. He just pulled out, and we're going to wait and see. So we'll see how he does. Bono? Yes. He's my pick to be the champion. So let's do that. Very, uh, let's do that, Derek. Championship champ and driver. Who gives it? I've got two. It's either going to be the 26 or the 24. 26 or the 24. Honestly, I know who the final four is going to be. Who? It's going to be the 26, the 4, the 96, and the 24. No. I think the 89 is in there. Somewhere well, in the 89 is in there. Where, okay, well, who do you knock out of that? You ain't gonna like my pick. Okay. The 26. I know why you're saying that. No one else may understand why you're saying that. I know why you're saying that. Well, I'm about to say it, Derek. I mean, let's be real. What's the last good run he's had, Adam? It's been a while, exactly. Momentum. And he's out on track right now, I think. No. Yeah, he he may not even. And this is a part of strategy like you called out, Derek. Personally, if it's me, I would rather start in the back. From what we've seen in practice, do we know the first part of this race is going to get crazy? But what if it's not? What if this thing goes green the yeah. whole That's way? The thing too. We know it can. Because let's be real. Trent's let's go out. back to Charlotte. What? Yeah, Trent's getting ready to roll out. Yeah. Let's go back to Charlotte for an instant. Let's go back, uh, let's go back seven days ago. We had the lap coming out of turn uh, four. Damn, that was the last yellow we saw, and it, it still produced a great race. Yeah. But there wasn't a – if you started in the back and you got through the wreck, if you were still in the back, you did not make up very much ground at that all. That was probably the had, best race we had this season, correct? I, I would agree. Yeah. But here's the thing, you know, now with the four in the back, and potentially now what looks like the 26 could be starting in the back. We're waiting to see if he comes out. He can still wait probably another two to three minutes. Yeah, because it don't take but, very long to get around here. Derek, tell us yeah. a little bit about Iowa Speedway. We know it's a tough place, but it is multiple grooves um, in the corners. <laughs> yes, it is multiple grooves, um, really. Um, it's, really driver, it's a really driver preference track. Yeah. Um, one, I think you got to get down to the bottom. I think you may run the middle on entry. Because you kind of start on the top. You'd really try to dominate. You might run the middle. You might straddle the uh, white dotted line through one and two and then slide out to the wall. Now, three and four. Three and four is interesting to me. Three and four. Three and four is way different than one yeah. and two. Yeah, I way just let different. That be. It's way different. And I think that's why you see different lines work. I believe, though, the line will push up to the top lane. I think, I think the bottom lane. It'll be just like how um, <clears throat> if you are on iRacing and, and, you know, and you do some of the official racing where uh, we're at at Kansas this week. Yeah. You can use the bottom lane to maybe make a pass, but you got to put the slide job on. You really got to drive it down in that corner, and you just got to hope you clear them. I think that's the only way we'll see the passes on the bottom. Once we get some laps on these tires at them, yeah. and with 150 lap race, what you said, three sets of tires, two additional yep. sets in the pits. Yeah. Uh, so no, what... actually, no, they got they – got, Three sets in the pits. Three sets in the pits, yeah. So you're looking at like 40 laps, which but, is But with fuel, enough. though. Yeah, yeah which so, is 70. With, yeah, 70. Wait, I thought it was 75. Yep. Okay, fantastic. Glad to know that we got great information. So, so, uh, 65 to 70 laps or so is what I'm being told. Okay, so with that... Yeah, it's going to make things interesting. Um, um, real fast. Someone's going to try one stop. Yeah, and you know who I'm thinking of that would do it. Why he's got nothing to lose? The 21. Oh, that's not who I was thinking. Who was you thinking? The four. He's yeah, got nothing huh, to lose. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's talk to the four. What do you think? Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring him up. See if I can find Johnny. Um, let me see if I can find him. Hopefully he don't drive to qualify when I do this. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, but, but I know where he's at. Hold on. What's his name again? Johnny. Hold on. Well, Derek tries to figure out if he's in here. I don't think he's in here. Yeah, he's not in here, Derek. Uh, 
Foddy? Yeah, I got him. Oh, okay. Hey, well, okay, there he is. Hey, Johnny, it's Adam and Derek up in the booth. You got a copy? I hear you. Already locked in into the playoffs for the next round, man. Um, go for tonight. Is it just to go out there and have fun and, you know, see what you can get out of this? Honestly, I still want to try and win it, but we'll see. I'm going to be taking my time. I, I have nothing really to lose or race for, so I don't want to put anybody else in jeopardy. When you look out at the field and you see some of the guys that are able to compete with you, uh, do you race them a little bit different to try to, you know, not wreck them by any means, but try to race them a little bit harder to try to make it a little bit tougher on them to, from advancing to the next round? Um, I'm not really sure. It'll depend on the race, but last thing I want to do is put somebody in the wall. So I might race them a bit harder, but I'll make sure I stay clean. For sure. All right, man. Well, good luck. We're going to be up here watching you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot, buddy. Derek, you can move him back up. Uh, I'm ready. I think you. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Okay. And so, honestly, Adam, you know, hearing how he said it, me and him, there's a reason why that man's won a ton of races. Yeah, I'll so, be honest. Let me ask you that, Derek. Mm hmm. Because that's an interesting question I think I asked in a way. Do you race what? guys harder that is a bigger threat to win? Yes. I think so, too, yes. in a way. You give them the bumper. I don't think, like, you're not going to wreck them, but I think no, okay, like, you okay. pinch them okay, and stuff like that. Let me rephrase my statement. Let me rephrase my statement. You, when you know that you're catching someone, like, let's say Johnny catches the 26, mm -hmm. you know, let's say with about seven laps to go. You're trying to tell me that in the back of his mind, like, you know, if I dive it in here, and if he knows that he doesn't have a chance of winning, he dives it in here, and let's say that he might make a little contact with the 26, you're trying to tell me that, you know, maybe the 26 spins out and gets him eliminated, and then you ain't got to worry about him? But yeah, you got a chance of him coming back. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you. Do you worry about that for next week? You know what? If you think you're the best, then no. Good point. I think I think there's two ways to look at it. Now there, there's a bad way, of course. You don't want to go there and dump the guy. Oh but, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Not dump him, but you know, if you think you've got a chance to maybe be able to put a pass on him, maybe put him in a jeop and jeopardize him in a in a spot. Pull I'd Joey do it. Logano and put some blocks on. I mean, as much as I don't like Joey Logano, it's true. I mean, that is true. All right. Um, Oh, got, got, got on first already. Um, we got ready to pull out here uh, with the 21 Todd Gray in that infinite here at number 21 alongside Mark Jenkins in the 33. We're going to pull Mark in at some point, I think, tonight, too. Um, during a caution. We'll see. But anyway, what do we got to take? Two trips around? No, I think so. I'm sure. This is a short track. It's only a half mile. It's only one, I'm almost sure. Actually, I think it's like 75%. Or 75.75 miles. I don't know. So, Adam Matt's got an EOL. That's kind of big. Qualified P number five yep. and was given a penalty. So, he now starts in the rear. Yeah, I want to try to find out what? why. I know they posted about it. Um, in just a second, I will have the. So, let's see. Does the pace truck pull off? You are right. And we do go two circuits. Yeah, I thought it was. This is a short track. I just took the number. But here's the deal, though, Adam. If you look at it, the front row is non-playoff drivers. True. Uh, yeah, the, you know, not does just get it. Well, it does not say for what. Yeah, front row non-playoff drivers. If you're them guys, Derek, you don't, you don't change care. your. Yeah, you don't race any different. I'm gonna be honest. Nope. To me, you, don't. you rate, and you see that's the thing is people are like, oh, you know, make sure you get rid of the playoff drivers. Absolutely not. You know, and I, thing is, you don't is I'll be honest. Them, but, no, 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 but what I'm saying is, as a playoff driver, I expect the guys that are not racing for the playoffs to race me the exact same way that they would. Exactly, all season long. All season long, yeah. because the thing is, is if I notice that, you know, you're doing something different, that's when I start to get a little suspicious. Exactly, but you are correct. Sometimes making it easy can cause problems, let's be honest. We've been oh, in that I mean, there, there's ways where if you try to, you know, all try to get out of, you know, someone else's way, and then you get into another playoff driver's yeah. way and make him... Jump out of the throttle. Oh, it's bad news, but here we go. Pace truck Playoffs is of the in. Way. Playoffs are the way. Bring it there. Playoffs are getting ready to go green, and they are green for See the end of their chase hopes in tonight. We are green here at Iowa. Green flag is out. 150 laps. Uh, 26 up. is pulling over. Yeah, I like the move. Big fan. Big fan. 
He knows what can happen here early. That's right, not going to be for P3. Brentley well, Glass now, takes it away. This, this is where things could get hairy. Just everybody hang on for a second. Looks like everyone's going to hang on for the moment here. I don't think we have anyone spinning, so we all make it through turn number two, or two, three turns, two and four, which were the problem spots in practice. Right now, Todd Cray and uh, Mark Jenkins, one, two, and then Bentley uh, Glasser in second, then, or third, and then, uh, I believe that's Jeff in fourth. Oh, shut the door there on yeah. Wayne Hunt right there. The biggest thing we're gonna have to work Wayne's out there in the new uh, truck this week as well. I did not notice that until just now. Uh, usually that orange truck, not out there in the orange truck. Now, but one of the things, Derek, when it comes to a place like this, the wall sneaks up on you, and that's where things get a little bit sketchy. Especially up out of the corner, you really got to be careful. It's actually, we are still side by side back there between the 09 and uh, Adam right here. Here's one. Oh, oh, oh we got it. Five. Five trucks. No caution. The yellow, yeah, the yellow's not going to come out for that. A lot of significant damage to the rear of that truck. Uh, unfortunately, his night might already be done, and that's what we was talking about. They're coming out of the corner. Uh, that, that was a playoff contender, by the way, Jesse Bunnell. Jesse Bunnell uh, does get some yep. damage here. I'm trying. Yeah, he, I uh, the five just got loose. And that's exactly what we were talking Actually, about. Actually, I'm earlier. not seeing hardly any damage on the front. Yeah, nose. I didn't either. No, I didn't but Adam, uh, someone who we kind of considered a quiet sleeper in these playoffs is uh, Trevartan, who's in tenth right now. You Anna. talked about that. He didn't qualify well. You talked about it to me. But uh, but it's a very uh, yeah. This is, I think he's doing the very Javarth thing. You're just kind of, you know, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm not the fastest. I'll, I'll be in the spot I need to be in when it matters. And right now, yeah. right now, Adam, he is still on the outside right now. That's your question. Todd Chase, or Todd Chase, Todd Cray out front. Uh, sorry, we know Todd Chase don't get out front very much. Sorry, Todd, I know you're no, watching. Um, Todd Cray out front. This is a statement for him. You want to answer? Yeah, what, what do you think you're call it a statement? No. And I'm sorry, guys, I, I got to pop up my sound. I know it's really loud with y'all doing so. Honestly, I don't think so because if we have a tight battle between playoff guys near the end of this race, I don't think it's going to matter who wins because we'll honestly forget about that. I could see that. And actually, right now, I know we, right here is the battle for the advancing spot right here. Is between Kemp and Trevarthen right now. That is for the uh, advancing spot. Uh, Kemp would make it. Trevarthen would not make it. Yes, we're going to watch this battle really close as you see Michael Trevarthen, Kemp right there in front of him. He's been he's been gaining just ever so closer here. As uh, right now, just but now kind of starting to lose touch right there on the bottom lane. Kind of what we expected the bottom lane to maybe kind of start going away at least when you're trying to make a move. And uh, looks like uh, Rob Jenkins finally cleared him. And now here comes David Kamara, who's someone out of that. It's just a lot of times wrong place, wrong uh -huh. time. Hasn't, hasn't had a great season just because he gets involved in just incidences that he cannot help. Right now he's on the outside trying to take away P number 12. Yeah, you see that clocks by Christopher on the side of the Kamara's truck, as we were watching now. That is going to be the uh, maker that these guys will win a trophy. That is who's making it, which was a, uh, I believe it was a custom clock, I believe, for a championship winner, which is absolutely amazing. Let's be honest. So, Adam, you know what this, you know who this hurts right now with the racing kind of like this? No idea. Trent Ringler, Adam Matt. Yeah, yeah. Those two guys are in a world of hurt right Yeah, because, Derek, you called it out. Like, you told me a few moments ago, hey, just because we see Rex in practice, don't be surprised nope. if we see green. Yeah, and I mean, it's the same thing we've seen at Charlotte. Charlotte, Adam, they can barely make <laughs> it out of two in practice, and they get into the race, and they only have that one problem, and then they figured it out. I mean, here's the deal. I mean, we know Ringlish fast, and I don't think he's fully out of this thing yet, but if this thing goes green for a long time, he's 7.2 seconds off the leader right now, and all he's doing is losing time every single lap right now. Because right, right now, Adam, he's got to get up to Kemp right now. Brentley Glasser looking underneath Dwayne Hunt. This is a pass for third. They're trying to make pass for third. Glasser right on the inside line. This track is very bumpy for people that do not know, especially if you get up out of the groove. Actually, didn't Dwayne? Yeah, Dwayne got in front of Jeff there. This, yes. Uh, Dwayne's making a run here for third. I think he's going to be able to clear it up there on the top lane. Kind of 
that's kind of what I was uh, saying there was that all you have to do is get up to the top lane and you'd be able to start making moves and he has definitely done that and I mean now uh, he's trying to maybe make a statement now trying to get up in the front and maybe try to pull away with this thing and just to make sure that he stays locked into these playoffs. Charles Wood getting on Patrick right there a little bit further back to 22 Bruce Pearson taking away the 18th spot as well trying to take away that 18th spot as well from Patrick, and it looks like he will be able to take that away. Here comes Maps. He's trying to get two for one in one turn. Three wide. Not sure if that's going to work out. Uh, now back to two wide. This, yeah, this right here is a scary moment for these two guys because if yeah. these two guys back here get involved in an incident, you can pretty much kiss their chances yeah, goodbye. Yeah. yeah, and that would be big. Here's the deal. You want to talk about breaking news. If this 26 don't make it to the second round, that may have just almost locked it up for Johnny and them to make it into Final Four with not much threat because I'll be honest, the 26 is the truck after I think the third or fourth race is who I figured would have been our champion. We talked about him earlier this season. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's so interesting because the way this format plays out in this series, you got to have good runs every single Sweet. race. I think, honestly, I think this is what NASCAR should go to. I would love to see it. Something because like then this? you don't have that fallback race. Yeah. I'm because let's be real. I'll be honest. Adam, let's go back to Thursday night with the, uh, what was it, uh, iRacing Legacy Cup Series? Yeah. Think about that. Morgani had a bad race, yeah. finished really bad. Imagine if he was in this style. Yeah, eliminating a guy that's one Now, granted, races. would he probably have made the move? He may probably not knowing that. But yeah. I'm just saying, I mean, yeah. that can completely change up a chase. And right now, I think Reed... Uh, Wrangler, who is still losing time, may I add, came from them, even though they've started to make a push to the front, they are still losing mass amounts of time. Oh, 24 is around. To the bottom. No caution. Brentley Glasser to the bottom. Backing no up on. No yellow. Uh-oh, Derek. Well, that. What that happened? Now puts, uh, that now puts Trevartan in. Trevartan is now the final transfer the Yep, two, two definitely did get into now, him there. Now, did he pause it? I mean, you know. Wow. That was net code, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't look at this. Steve Unich, he's looking to the bottom. He's trying to take away P number four away from Travis McGinner. Can't quite get it done. And I don't, I don't know if you just noticed it here, but now Trevartha knows that he's in the transfer spot. Look at it. He kind of backed off just a little bit. How about Steve Unich, man? Mm -hmm. Honestly, the 27, we haven't. Not to be mean, but... Jeff has done better this year. Yeah, Just Jeff's be done better. He's been the units we've talked about. But you see Steve up in P5. You never know. So, for I, I, I just want to go ahead and point this out right now. If the race was to end right now, it would be McDaniel, Unich, Sarah, Kemp, Unich, Trevartan, and... Uh, John. Yep. Yeah. So, that right there would be our advancing... The four that would be eliminated would be Jesse Bennell. Wrangler, Adam, Adam Matt, and Matt. you want to talk yeah. about a breaking news top four not making it. Yeah, Adam Matt. That is a stacked yep. top four yeah. not making it. Yeah. yeah, that would change the game. That would it? change the entire playoffs. Yeah, it would. Here's the pass. 27 yeah, we got, we got battling going on. This 27, he must have figured something out on the bottom. He is really making that bottom work right now. Maybe, uh, actually, look at that. He's running through the middle line and really making it work through. Get most of you guys. Look at this. He gets around the two, now setting stops of Dwayne Hunt. Yeah, I mean, if he can just not let Dwayne get down and clear him, and he does right there just because he's running that outside lane and maybe lets it run just a little bit longer. But actually, here comes 27. Look at that yeah, run out the yeah, corner there. Great. He's going to clear the two. Now, here comes 17. He's going to look to the inside of the two. And Dwayne, he goes really far up the racetrack because that's going to open up the door for Steve to maybe get the run. And now Steve is side by side with Dwayne. And honestly, yeah, that 17, he looks a little hungry right now. He may be trying to take this thing three wide. We'll see what happens here going through turns one and hey, two. crazy, Derek. William Kemp, and I'm sitting here looking. William Kemp and Joshua Sheriff barely made it into this playoffs. They was 11th and 12th. Yeah, and Adam, I believe, uh, well, Granted, I think Trent heard me, but he just don't have the speed tonight, man. He's made up spots. He has not gained. He's only gained, he's gained one second. spots is what I thought, yeah. Well, well, Grant, he's only I, he's maybe gained one oh, second. Oh, two. Did he save it? Yes. Wow. Well, I'll take everything. I just said throw that out the pot because, you know, these guys don't want to keep it clean, apparently. No. Um, what wow. a save, though. Great save by McDaniel. He needed but that. But now... 
you know, thankfully no one kind of went spinning, so everyone is okay for the moment. Uh, I think I see maybe a little bit of damage. Yeah, if, there's a, if there's a lot, it's not severe. Home run, Atlanta. Uh, oh, hey, Adam, huh? driver's side, a lot of damage. And you know who that was that was to his inside? Who was it? I hate to say it, but that's going to probably fall on the 27. I'm trying to see if I can see maybe the 27. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in here as well. He does not have damage on the 27. Uh, oh, then could it be the 17? There is a scrape on the 27. Actually, I, it was the 17 because I see... There is damage on the 17, yes. On the hood. So it, oh, yeah. That should be a tire rub. <laughs> okay, so, so thanks, I uh, thanks, I racing. Two nothing. Doing everything up per normal. Two nothing. Uh, Second in. So, <laughs> Adam, it's just going to be watching all these playoff drivers. There's someone, uh, there's two certain drivers that are going like, hey, we, uh, we kind of know what we're doing here. And they have uh, broken out, as you can say. Yeah, Todd Graham, Mark Zink is both. I mean, they are just, like, let's be real. There, there's nobody. But <laughs> here's the deal, though. Could it be because these playoff drivers? They know they ain't got to win to make it. Did Steve Eunice just take third away, or is he? Did he yeah, get Steve. Okay. Yeah, Steve Eunice just took away third. But Adam, I think this may fall on the point because, like, the twenty-seven nineteen. Why race hard at this point? I let, agree. Let, like, it don't matter. I mean, either. yeah, I think I know Todd Cray, and Mark Jenkins are really good. Yeah. Oh wait, I think the two just made another mistake. No, he's fine for the moment. Um, but me. no, I think I think Todd Cray, and Mark Jenkins are really good. But honestly. I think if you're, you know, Steve Eunice, Dwayne Hunt, you look at it and go like, hey, you know, I mean, we've got, you know, five cars in between us and an elimination spot. Why race hard, waste our tires to try to go run down two guys that don't matter in your sure. playoffs? Why, why, why waste yourself to go out and try to win a race that uh, you winning the race does absolutely nothing? So, William Kemp, Jeff Eunice. By the way, the 17 does got damage on his back end as well. Well, Adam, uh, we wondered how long it would take Johnny to get up to the front. Well, he's making it work nice and easy. And someone else who's actually making some headway right now is that 26, but he's just not gained. Actually, he has gained quite a bit of time here yeah, on the transfer spot. He's up to 14 right now. Um, he's about three seconds back. From the transfer spot. So right now, Wrangler's trying to catch Tavarthan right now, and that is for the transfer Fastest spot. Fastest last time by was the four truck out of the entire field. That doesn't surprise me. Tavarthan getting passed by that four truck. Now that does not affect Tavarthan whatsoever. That, that, yeah, no, that honestly that makes it a little bit easier on us uh, up here in the it booth. Does. <laughs> we find out who's not in easier. Right now, yeah. Brentley Glasser, Johnny Bedell, Trent Wrangler, and no, no, Martha Adam it. Matt, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Trent Wrangler, Adam Matt, Jesse Bunnell, and uh, Bentley Glasser. Once again, like we said, that would be a Glasser having monumental. That, yeah, Glasser having that issue, man, with big. Well, he's making up ground, just not enough. He's 17 seconds behind the leader right now. Mm. Wait, I'm sorry. Glasser is 13 seconds behind the leader. I look at Todd Gass for something. Oh, 10 hard in the wall. Rob Jenkins smacks the wall along with a couple other. I believe uh, David Kamara also got it. Well, that's not really what the 26 really wants to see going on in front of him right now. Because you got to think and if Daniel. he gets involved. What? Issues for the two. Oh, look at this. Go back and look at the replay between the 17 and the two. Oh, boy. Joshua Sharif coming up. All to the two truck. Yeah, that's going to... You know, Adam, that looks awfully similar to Wednesday night <laughs> between myself and a certain little driver. So, that's not going so too well, yeah. I think, with the two truck on that. Daniel's not going to be happy right well, now. Well, I think the, the O9 truck stands yeah. up for the O2 because the, the O9 just gave the 17 a bump. He does not have the yellow banner, but he is in the playoffs. He's Oop. taking a peek underneath the O9. Yeah, uh, don't be surprised. I don't know if they're teammates or not, but I know if I was teammates with the two and I'm in the 09 truck, yeah, I'd be running that 17 a little hard right now. Cause that, well, the 09 almost didn't have to do it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. 
Hold on, uh, boys, you both are in. Why are you racing so hard? I agree. Come on now. And now that Johnny's in the picture, now this may add a, another element to this that could really change this. Johnny, we're trying to look to the bottom. They may go three wide right here. Johnny thinks better if he gets up to the outside lane, and Kemp now going to have to try to hang on on the bottom. Oh, Kemp's in it in there. He makes it stick. How does he make that There's stick? There's been a couple times, man, where he looks like he really wants to push up. He's done a good job of keeping it on the bottom. Hey, well, man. right here, he sends it in. They might not be doing it for long, but I think Kemp's going to have to run out. He's not clear quite yet. If he can send it in again, he will clear. He does clear the 17. Here comes the four looking to the inside. Now Kemp clears the 17. Oh, boy, that 17 got right up on the bumper of that 09. Yeah, I don't see this lasting much. A lot of damage on the back bumper of that 17, by the way. There's quite a bit of damage on the back. By the way, Wrangler has Trevarthan in his sights. These guys know that they're in, right? I don't think so. Well, the Hunt, best news for the 09 truck is just to get away from that 17 right Dwayne now. Hunt falling back a little bit. He's under attack for fourth. And Jeff Unit. Steve Unit still up for third. Mark is still second. Concrete still first. Here's battle for fourth. I thought Dwayne just almost got the wrong. Yeah, he's having some issues right now. He was really fast, and all of a sudden, it's like that truck has switched. Good pass there by the 89. That is one thing, Derek. Tell people, you see that like in dirt racing, basically a slide job. And I'll explain it. Basically what we're saying is, get a run on the bottom or top side, get underneath the truck that's in front of you, dive it super deep into the corner while the truck in front of you is going high, slide up in front of you pretty much like a dirt top race, a dirt top move, I guess we can say. Everybody right now, Pretty much single file, a little bit further back. Not for position, Ross can do, or for position, Ross can do it David Kamara, not for the playoffs. But we do got a playoff uh, story getting ready to happen right now. They are inside of a second, is Ringler and Trevartham right now. They are within a second of each other, and that gap is slowly closing. Up front. Johnny now in the middle of a good battle here for the 09 to 19. Johnny currently seven, already locked in that four truck into the next round. But it does not matter about the next round. Trust me, you gotta get there first. And he is there, but he's gotta, once we get to the next round, he's gotta make sure he minds his P's and Q's there. So we eliminate a lot of drivers. A little familiar once again. I think the total, what, four get eliminated tonight, four next week? Yeah, that's half the drivers. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. Johnny does. Hey, where, and where do we go next week? Yep. Glad to know our broadcaster knows uh, the schedule. Texas. Ooh. So unique. Very different track. Well, Adam, here we go. Battle for playoff spot. Trevarthan and Wrangler, and I think Trevarthan may just give it to the 26 here. Yeah, I'm going to be out there. I thought we would see pit stops around like 40, 45. Mm -hmm. Not the case, actually. Nobody has hit that big yet. I think everyone may try to push it to try to make it a one, a one-stop race, or if anything, Boy, that's try a push to push it. Seventy-five laps. A long time. Yeah. But I mean, if you can make it to if you can make it to seventy-five or longer, you might be in the catbird seat. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't that be something though to see a field ball race in this first round? Just saying. I mean, we've I seen one for drive. Like that. I mean, we we we've seen it, you know, to try to get into the playoffs. Now we might be seeing it in the playoffs. And right now we got a tight little battle here between three trucks right now: the 19, the 09, and the 17, all battling for position right now. And once again, these guys are in the playoffs, but they sure ain't driving like it. And because here comes that 26, that 26. I guess he hurt. Oh, whoa. 17 might be falling this old nine. The 17 might be getting ready to send this, this old nine uh, into the wall. We haven't seen Joshua race this aggressive this season. You may say it might be a little too aggressive. I like it. Like, you got to cut yourself into the next round. Uh, you know, you might not make friends on it. 
But, you know. Just saying. He's racing very good. I like it. Fastest car that lap goes to the 89 truck. The Jeff Hewitt. Pit stops underway. Michael Trevartan. Okay, so uh, let's. He might be trying to make this a two stop race. Yeah, I think he knows he's short. But the question is, did he pit too early? Could have. I mean, honestly, you're looking at a two second follow. Two and a half. Oh, Travis McDaniel on pit road. Uh, there was just some smoke. Yep, there. Uh, Adam Matz on pit road. Well. You know, Trevarthen, uh He's making he those playoff decided, guys pit, yeah. Yeah, he he has brought people in. So we'll see how many and Trevarthen is out and is rolling now. Grant it's very easy to get a penalty here for uh unsafe pit exit. Very easily to do. Waiting for some other guys to come down pit lane. When will that happen? Rob Jenkins on pit road in the ten. See the ten truck coming down? Right there. Now, Rob does have some pretty heavy damage on the TN. So that's unfortunate, but still got a pretty so fast we, truck. Now we wonder how long, or because, uh, and once again, you know, we're not talking about the leaders in this race. Wrangler's on pit road. Yeah, how long do these playoff guys stay out? Yeah, actually, we got a battle right now between two playoff guys right now. Trevartan gets in front of the two. Yeah, that could be big. that that right there i think may have just been for a playoff spot the next yeah round. i mean because we know that it's gonna be tough for the two to catch for right now with the fresh tires um maybe on a long running can we'll see we got more pit stops underway right now a bunch of johnny on pit road todd guest on pit road jesse bunner on pit road uh todd Gray, leader on pit road that's who we'll watch right now and he does hit pit road here very hectic pit road right now. Thankfully for Todd Cray, he does have the first pit stop stall. So he has to go around the bend here. Interesting exit right there, or entry into his pit box. Very. So a lot of people will cut that off. He actually stayed out wide, which may have been hey, talked about in the driver's meeting. McDaniel takes back over that position in front of the 31. They're actually passing the four right now. Or no, the four may have just got all the way up to speed and maybe beat them out. Oh gosh, that two run. Oh my goodness. Now the, now the question is, are these guys going to get in front of anyone else? They are right now. Yeah, right now, a bunch of people are on pit road. Yellow! Yellow! Oh yellow. my gosh. Uh oh. And I think it was. Who was the it? 27. Oh my gosh, Steve Unit. No, no, no. Who was it? I don't know. Oh, right there, right there on the first straightaway right there. I can't quite see who that is. It was just a second, guys. We're trying to figure out who this is. I can't quite see it because I had cars blinking on my screen because of not being able to load enough cars right there. It is. Let's see if we can see who this is. David Kamara. You are correct. Yep. Well, oh we talked about it, Adam. Oh, my gosh. Derek, that just changed this entire playoff. Go ahead and say what you now, want to say. You've been waiting to say it for years. What am I supposed to say? Major, uh, what is it there? Major playoff implications. There's the wreck from Kamara. Oh, my gosh. Just lost it. I hate to say it now, Adam. Now, granted, Derek, there's one thing that's good that came out of this. They haven't been too many laps. There haven't been too many laps. A lot of them will get my wave around. They're going to have about five or six laps. Now, that will play a difference. Do they pit again? Uh, well, if they if we have another quick yellow here, do they pit again? Yes. Her, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. For what? And Steve Eunice is going to win the race off pit road. He's going to be a race leader. After Todd Cray led over, well, not over half, but most of this race. Wow. Mark Jenkins still on pit road, actually. Oh, he has some damage. Derek, did they have a quick repair? Uh, did they even pass? No. Wait. 
his damage just got fixed. Maybe he served it. Maybe. Hold on. I think I was looking at it wrong. You might be. No, this thing straight up fixed it. So, now here's the okay, deal so with all this, He though. just got it bigged out a little bit. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Play all pretty sounds fast, man. Yep. I just, I don't know. This changes the whole thing. It really does, yeah, we, because we now, that very much. if this thing goes green for a while, yes, you want to talk about different strategies. Yeah, because nobody can make it, feel. And not only that, there, when you come down pit road for this final stop, you're only going to have to be down there for like maybe 15 laps. Do you see two tire stops? Do you see way less gas taken? <laughs> oh, God. I think so. I think it depends where you are on track. I'm just glad I'm not the crew chief. I'm glad that's your job, not mine. Like, okay, so here's my opinion. If we go green, mm -hmm. if you're in a situation, because for people that don't know, I crew chief Derek a lot when he races. If you're in a situation, let's say you're back there where, right now where Jesse Bunnell is. Let's say he was back on the lap, even though he's two lap, even though he's a lap down. Him and Brent Glass are both on a lap down, by the way. Uh, because they was two laps down because they did not get one of their laps back. Um, let's say if he was just not a lap down at the very end. I would only put a splash of gas, maybe, you know, seven seconds worth, or about six seconds worth. Change two tires, let you go. You've got to try for track position. Because if not, you're not going to, what are you going to make up? Nothing really. Like, if you're in that spot further back, you have to make up spots. You gotta take two. Now we're looking at it like there ain't no more cautions. So, but uh, uh, here's the deal, though. I think now we're about to down. see different style of racing. Yeah, now the you got Jeff Unitz lap down, Brentley Glasser lap down, Jesse Bunnell lap down. Why is Unitz? Did he go back down pit road? Ah, think so. No, he just hasn't got. It. Yeah. Did he go back down yeah, pit road? Yeah, two laps ago. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're about to go green. I hate <laughs> to say it, Jeff. That, uh, I'm Yeah. Gonna... Did he take tires? Yes. Uh, you just basically wasted a set. Possibly. But here we go. He we now got tires. playoff drivers up front. Green flag is out, and we are racing once again. Ten cards got ran in the wall by the 14. We're three, four wide, I think, back here somewhere. I don't know what's going on. Here's the deal. We got lap cars in front of these lead lap uh, playoff drivers. What? You yeah, thank God. We got lap cars in front of the uh, wave around cars. Oh, yeah, you're right. I this? Forgot, oh, yeah. oh, contact, contact, contact. Three wide, four wide. Oh, oh, no. If they now survive three. this. Still three. Still three, 19 squeezes Not, the truck 19 in. with a power move. <laughs> Way not with the muscle. What's this? Oh, contact, contact, contact. 10 sends the 14 around. They Four might be back in there. They go. Oh, no. We got playoff drivers involved. Trevartan involved. 96 involved. Somebody blew up. Travis McDaniel. Okay, so once again, uh, major playoff implications now. Oh, well. Okay, so let's let us let us see here. How did McDaniel get involved in this? So the truck came down. The ninety six came down. It blew him up when he came oh. down. Oh, everything was gonna be. Oh, wow! And that's actually how Chavarthan got involved. So the ten of Rob Jenkins gets into the back of uh, Kenneth uh, Sargent, or Sargent or whatever, and then the nineteen tries to get underneath, can't quite get it. Well, the 96 is trying to Man, avoid it and comes too. down in front of the 40, which then calls spinning. And then I think I may have just seen Arca breaking. You did. Travis McDaniel's playoffs. Unfortunately, you're going to come to Actually, no. 
Travarta might be all right, Adam. I think Travarta will be fine. He'll get a lot of that damage worked out. The two. Travis didn't blow up. Yes, he did. He's smoking. It ain't officially blew all the way up, but he's going to have like seven minute optionals. Or required. Well, Derek. You got to say major playoff implications twice tonight. Oh man, this is gut wrenching. I mean, Travis is still driving around though, so I don't think he blew up. What do you mean? He just you know? Oh. I'm looking on replay. Oh, oh yeah, he did. Oh, oh wow. That's sad, yeah. dude. That sucks. Mm. One of the favorites. Out yeah. here in round one, we knew some big names would be out in this there. We talked about yeah. the race. This is not your normal race. Not your normal playoff format. Not now. Yeah, this is not a normal format. That's what makes it very interesting. Now the question, uh, so who got the wave around? I believe yeah, Jeff Unis got the Jeff wave Hughes around. Did, yes. yeah. wild By way, the way, Adam, mm -hmm. Sunday Night Football is currently a blowout. I see that, by the way. And unfortunately, it's not in my favor. Good for me. Actually, no, not really. That actually does kind of play into my favor. Man, I've been on the Braves team. Two to nothing. Bottom in second with two men on base for the Dodgers with two outs. Ooh, yeah, y'all need to hurry and get out of that inning. They need, uh, they need a strike here. Sorry, I gotta keep gotta keep updated on that now. Oh my goodness, what a race though, man. I'm actually. You know, like, Derek, you've been in that situation. Yeah. I got to check Jesse, too, because he may be at, oh, my gosh, the 96 truck. Well. Do I even, do I even want to look at this 96? Well. Oh, no. Well, Adam. Yeah. And Bentley Glasser right now is. So, tell everybody still, who, who's cut right now if the race was to end. As if the race was to end as of this very second. If we were coming to the checkered flag, Travis McDaniel, Jesse Bunnell, Bentley Glasser, Jeff Unich are eliminated. Wow. But that's because Jeff Unich just got back on the lead lap. Will now be racing Michael Trevarthen, who doesn't have a ton of damage. Yeah, I'm going to be curious about his speed. But with this place, it's not super important. It's more about acceleration. Here, in my opinion. Strike out. Well, it's okay, Adam. Uh, I think the Dodgers start hitting good about the fourth or fifth inning. Stop talking, please. Ready to come back to the <laughs> green flag here for the playoffs. And once again, Steve Unich is going to bring us to the green. And the green flag is out. The cars didn't get going. Cars got going in other places. The 40 puts a block on the 31, 19 goes on the outside. Steve Vinich does watch. get away. And Adam, I'll immediately go back here and look at the at the transfer spot right now. Because that honestly, here in the next couple laps, that is where the race could be at. I'm sure we're gonna keep an eye on that. See right here. Trent Ringler on that outside, putting a pass on Adam Maps. Trying to put Now here's still those two guys are locked in now. So, I mean, right now it's looking like a good move right now. Uh, Trent Ringler actually kind of did kind of, you know, start to turn it around. So, I mean, that kind of worked out. 
But Adam, I'm watching uh, right now. Unich is not getting the runs. I'd be expecting him to get right now to try to make up some ground here on Trevarthen. Adam, you got to think, if we get one more caution here in the next five to ten laps, yeah. yep. this this race could be over. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, fixed up wise. Yeah, I, I would agree. If we get a loss of caution here, I'd like to do we got a car around? Okay, maybe. Okay, I've seen a lot of smoke. If we get a caution around lap 80, you could be looking at, you know, the final pit stop. Later on, but have a chance. Seeing the 21 Todd Cray, remember, he led a lot of this first part of this race. Working his way back up. Right now, Trevartan is actually going backwards right now, Adam. It's not looking good for the 31 truck. <laughs> I got paid all, but it's Todd Chase. Comment about the baseball game. Yeah, guys, I uh, do remember. Uh, yeah. Y'all better remember y'all are on my team. Yeah, well, let me guess you're saying that something about the Dodgers. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Good pass here, the 19 Dwayne Hunt. Looking, well, was looking underneath. Joshua Machine. Not Here's the it. deal. If there's a wreck here, this could take out some playoff drivers. Yeah, because they are piled in. Adam, look who's in third right now. Ross Cadu. Haven't said that name in a minute. Todd Cray underneath Mark Jenkins for fourth. And contact 33 getting up. Oh, Hard no. contact. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is not going to make Mark very happy. That is a mistake we do not see very often from Todd. Wow. I'm sorry. Todd's trying to play innocence there. Mm -mm. Yeah, if you're Mark, you definitely got a reason to be a little upset. If if Mark happens to see that 21 car the rest of this race, that get 21 interested. car. Yeah, that twenty one truck m might be uh, spectating uh, from the turn two huh. wall. So. He might be watching this on the broadcast. <laughs> yeah, he might be watching this on the broadcast in the medical center. Because I'll be honest, that that twenty one truck wouldn't finish. Yeah, he, I, I will be honest with you. Didn't look too great from Todd's point of view. No, it, that didn't look good, good at all. And that kind of, I don't, I don't know if you've noticed it, but that kind of calmed everyone down for the moment. Adam, what? the play, the playoff advance spot for the heat up. Unit just catching this 31 truck. You're right, right on the back. Oh, 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 two, oh, two in the wall. Oh, two in the wall. Uh oh, everyone's gonna get no, no, That's Johnny. Jeff Johnny? Unit just got through it. Todd Gas, the five truck. Go watch that on board with the 80 That was funny. Two inches! 89 on board, here we go. Yeah, that's a wild one. They're that close to Derek, having... This is going to be so close on field. Honestly? Remember, 65 to 70 laps. Go for it, send it, full send. If you're in a playoff spot or not in a playoff spot, Here's your chance. You got to hit pit road twice, I think, here for gas. Thoughts? No comment. <laughs> I'm a racer, not a crew chief guy. You're my crew chief guy. So, oh, man, if know. you tell me to pit right here, I'd pit. Yeah, but... you got to pit. I like the idea. Now, there's a lot of people that didn't here, Derek. Yeah, I think, Adam, some people are on their last set of tires. William Kemp stays out. Todd Cray stays out. Dwayne Hunt stays out. Bryson Tomlinson stays out. Steve Unich hits pit road. You know what they're banking on right now? Here's the deal. Steve Unich, this is his last set of tires. Trent Ringler stays out. Ray Polking stays out. Charles Wood stays out. Everybody else is on pit road. Lucky Dog goes to Brentley Glasser in the 24. He needed, he needed that, that right now. Yeah, he didn't need that. So... Still, as of right now, the four cars that I mentioned underneath the last yellow that would uh, not make it, and that would be the two of Travis McDaniel, who for sure will not advance, Jesse Bunnell, who as of right now, does the odds do not look in his favor, 
Uh, Bentley Glasser, who just now got back on the left, would also not advance. And then Jeff Unich will would not advance right now. But Adam, there is still, I think, another major playoff implication wreck. I think still waiting to happen right now. I just I got a bad feeling that something's gonna happen here, and it's gonna it's gonna take out some playoff drivers. So I think right now, if you're Jesse Bunnell, I think that's why you haven't seen Jesse leave this race yet because. Adam, you got to think, if we have one more kind of a wreck that involves a playoff driver, or a, he needs about three guys to, you know, three playoff drivers besides the four truck to get involved in an incident, he'd make it. Yeah, it's going to get pretty interesting, man, here in just a few moments. We know that. Uh-uh-uh. Well. <laughs> oh, that's a major well. Yeah. What did he hurt? I don't know. Leg. Yep. Eagles fans are going to be uh, tanking for uh, Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> and maybe a new uh, training staff. Just Tell me I'm wrong, Adam. For reference right now, I would give up a first and second rounder for a new training staff. <laughs> the bad part is I know you're not joking. Uh, I so know. Pay slot's still on right now. Ram scored. Oh, well, so I just oh, made no. that game up. Not what, this. what? Robert Woods got it. Well, as you can see, Adam Chapman is slowly losing his fantasy game. <laughs> All right. So, Pace Lots, get ready to go back off. Playoff contenders right now. Looking at the board. Travis McDaniel unfortunately eliminated. That's a heartbreaker. Jesse Bunnell is right now eliminated. Brantley Glasser would be eliminated. And then Michael Trevarthen would be no. eliminated. Oh, whoa. Yeah, because he came back down pit road. Yes, I like the idea. Oh, hold on. Hey, last second pit stops here. Adam Matz comes back down like pit it. road. I like it. Uh, maybe try to top it back off with some fuel here to try to make it to the end on this thing. Hopefully that this will be his last pit stop of the evening. And that right there, that could almost, if this thing, if this thing turns into a wreck fest, that hurts the nine truck. But if this thing goes green, Adam Matz might be, uh, we might be seeing Adam Matz in a uh, victory circle at the end of this thing. If this works out, if he doesn't miss his box, because you know, good times. Yeah. And he tops uh, off and I like rolls the out. idea of coming down. Right there. So anyway. Get ready to double back up. Oh, we are double back up, sorry. Get ready to go back green. Pace truck ready to it, drop in. This is going to get interesting. Uh, William Kemp is the leader and chose the outside lane. So a very interesting, interesting. lane choice. Yeah, for turn one, that's but interesting. Green flag is out. Yeah, I don't like you to the outside lane in turn one. Yeah, hey, let's talk Four right behind them. Um, I hear contact. Oh, there was definitely contact. There goes the 24, the 02. Caution comes Yellow. out. And I want to say the 24 was involved. Brentley Glasser, now he did keep it going, but there is damage. Here looks at this roof. I think he kind of dove well, it Why in. did the yellow come out for that? Interesting. That's a tough break there for the 24 glasses though, Derek. He did not have damage. Keyword of what I just said did not. Now there is a little bit. Yeah, that uh and now the question is now do we see cars maybe hit hit road now? You know, personally, with being a, a couple quick yellows, you may come down to take gas only, but that would be about it. Um, and we do got cars on pit road. Yep, Jeff Unit. The, uh, the Unich brothers yep. coming down. William Sargent missed his pit road. That might be Glasser, I think, who's I think it's coming down. Son, by the way. Uh, they come down. Mm -hmm. Glasser coming down. Dude coming down. And Kamara yeah, coming down. Glasser's coming down to get that damage repaired. I'm not surprised by that. All right. 
four yellows so far tonight. 87 laps coming up here in just a moment. Been an interesting race there. If we talked about it, there would be some guys that we thought would advance having issues. And right, and right now on the outside looking in. Do you like what Adam Matz did and what Adam and um, Trent Wrangler did? Use your words. Do you like what they did? Sorry. When they started towards the back without qualifying. We know Matt's had the EOL, but do you like what they did? No. I still don't like it. I think it's worked out good for... It's worked out good for him. I just... No, that's... No, that's just my style of racing. I'd rather get up to the front and then get away from everyone and just... You know, then if it, you know, doesn't go my way, at least I know that, you know, I costed myself not, you know, I got involved in this through that, you know, it, it, you know, I got away from everyone then I just made a mistake. That's at least how I would look at it. Yeah, I agree. So we're waiting to double back up here before we get going once again. Just want to point out my fantasy is not going the way I planned right now. Sounds very rare. <laughs> uh, late scratch, 26 on pit road. Now, see, I'm not a fan of that. I think he should have done it earlier. You're good to go to the end, though, for all these guys that pitted. If I'm not mistaken, that is. Well, because uh, now I don't imagine if uh, we start wrecking and he gets yeah, involved. If, yeah, and not only that, if we do have, say, Derek, you've been in the races where we have a lot of yellows back to back to back to back. These guys eventually yep. will save enough gas at a yellow. Now, given we've only been out there 33 laps now, but we've been a, a few under yellow here with Todd Cray and all them, I mean, if they're just sitting here saving, eventually, if we do have yellows, you know, it would catch up to them and they wouldn't have to pit. Yeah, because you got to think, Adam. I mean, when was the last time William Kemp pitted? 30 laps ago. Now, how many yellows have we had since? Three? Yeah, we've had yellow after yellow after yeah. yellow. So, really, these 30 laps ain't doing nothing. Like, it's counting them laps, but... To be honest, how many has he run under green light? Five? If. Give, give or take a little bit on that? Very much. Yeah, so. All right. Todd Craig. And, I, you know, the 09 when he chose to start outside last time, I, I don't know if that was just more to see what would happen. I personally didn't like it. It's just my opinion. I think for turn one, you want to start on the bottom over here. All right, here we go. Coming back to the green flag. Pace truck ready to drop off. You're on lap number 90. We get set to go back through. Been a wild one. We're here in playoff race at number one of three. Pace truck pulls in. Green flag set to wave. And we are waiting, waiting, waiting. Green flag is out of the air. Well, we are 60 lap away from the end of this race right now. So... We, we still got a little ways to go left in this race right now, but, I mean, we've seen these guys. They can go green for quite a while, and right now everyone makes it through turns one and two now. Can we survive turns three and four? They were on the, Turn four was especially a problem in practice. Looks like everyone, for the most part, is going to hang on to it, so we're going to stay green. Side-by-side -side battle between the 19 yeah. and the 09. There's also a bad little battle a little bit further back, but we're going to jump back up. The 19 and 09 is just the second for two playoff drivers. Dwayne Hunt, we're looking to take it away. Battle going to be also. How about Bryson Thompson? Uh, I got, I've got, it. I don't like what I see back here. I like Bryson Thompson's chances right now. Oh, the four and the 17. Oh, no. 17 gets That's good stuff. Not, I'll be honest, if the 17 does not advance because of that move, that four may have something coming. You never know. We've seen it a couple times. 
Now the 46 trying not to get into the 17. The 89 trying not to get into the 46. They work it out for now. And right now, Adam, the three, four playoff drivers underneath a blanket right now. I'm just imagine if those four guys get involved in an incident right here. I mean, that takes out, uh, once again, four powerful yeah. trucks that I think have a chance. I, I, at least three of them, I would almost think, could make the, the final four right now. They're all bunched up right here together, all surrounded. Uh, they're all surrounding this 46 like they're giving them an escort. Yeah, the 46 of Ray Poulton right now, right here in the middle. It's Adam Mass is underneath him. Behind them, however, is Steve Unit, who we know is fast. And the 24, Brett Glass are finally back in the lead lap. Right now, Steve Unich is in the transfers. Uh, Steve, actually, my bad. Glasser and Unich are battling for the transfer oh, spot. Truck, or Derek. I, I mean, why would we even pick against the truck? I like it right now. The guys are fighting all old, or older tires. He's got the freshest that we see. Uh, now, we're not going to talk about the guy that's trying to follow yep. him right now. <laughs> exactly what I was ready to say. Once again, a very Trevartan type thing to do. Right when I thought he was out of this thing, finds himself in a great position. Now, granted, we still got a long way to go in this race, but he's diving into the inside of that 52 trying to take away P number five. Tied up, by the way. And Adam, let's look at the truck right behind him. Two, two. Mark Jenkins. That's yep. not what you want to see if you're this 21, because uh, he's on fresher tires and is making moves. Yeah, he's got a little bit fresher tires even than Trevartan and him. If I'm not mistaken, so, now, granted, Remember, they came down pit road and may have been on gas only. We're not sure. But. Well, that's not going to be my bunch, but here comes the four. He's trying to take away this uh, number three spot away of William Kemp, and I think he's going to be able to get that done. Now, how hard is Kemp going to battle him here? He's got to remember, that guy it does not matter yeah. in this. Well, almost uh, the four him, almost didn't give him much of a choice, but that opens up the door for Trevarthan now. Trevarthan trying to look to the inside to take away this position now. I think Jabarza's going to be able to get it done. Here comes the four. Trying to look to the outside. I was about to say, if he made that pass, that truck needs to go to the inspection tent. <laughs> but he can't quite get there. And now Jabarza, he's trying to make a big dive. Trying to get to the inside of the fort. Not going to be able to quite get there. They almost could have been three wide there coming out of the corner. Jabarza clears the 09 and gets up right in front of him. Don't be surprised here if we don't see the 09 try to dive back underneath, but not going to be able to do it. Yeah, Jabarza P4 now. He's actually done really good. Look at this back here. Once again, you know those four or five trucks that I told you that were in the playoffs that, yeah, you know, they're are. underneath the blanket. They are right back underneath the blanket. And, oh, the 33 just barely clears the 53. The, the, Adam, there is something big. Three wide. Three wide for a playoff spot. It goes up to two wide. Matt checks out of it. Right now, Adam, you, you just get this feeling that something's brewing right now. Yeah. I, I just got a bad feeling that right now that something is brewing right now. And actually, Adam, we got a battle for second right now. Sorry. Johnny trying to look to the inside of Dwayne. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Actually, Trevartan, he's going to follow. He's going to at least attempt to try to follow Johnny into this position here. And this is big for Trevartan right here. I mean, you know, how, he just went from potentially battling for the transfer spot to, you know, Trying to take away third and try to finish on the podium That's in this crazy. race. You remember a couple or last week we was talking about if Barton would advance or not, even in the playoffs. That's crazy to think of. A lot of tight racing going on all around the racetrack. Oh, the 19 actually gives a little bit of a bump to the 14. Yeah, Barton. Not quite clear. We'll stay side by side. Now watch them to dive it down in turn one really deep. If they are side by side right now. Will he be able to slide up in front of the 19? He is clear. Yes, no. He does not keep sliding up. That's just good racing there by 31. Now he is going to be clear, but now he's looking on the four, Derek. How about that? Yeah, he made a big dive there, and he's going to lose the ground to the four because the four was on the outside lane, was able to keep the full throttle, uh, was able to keep the throttle down. But now Tarantin does clear this 19, as actually now we got a battle between between the 09 and the 89. They're battling for a position, and now Adam, let's kind of get a little update right now because we're inside 50 laps to go. Yep, he and would be eliminated. But right now, it would be Travis McDaniel, Jesse Bunnell, 
Trent Wrangler and Bentley Glasser. And I'll wow. be honest right now, Adam, Trent Wrangler, he's got to make up a couple of spots. He's got to make up a little bit yeah, of time quite right a bit. now. Yeah, quite a bit. Uh, I mean, I think 15. he's going to be able to do it. But, I mean, he's got to get in front of the 93, the 24, the 46. And then he's got a battle of 17. And 17 has made it proven that it's going to be tough to get yeah, around him. it's going to be tough to pass him. We know that. We're only on 45 laps to go already. And we're still curious about this whole pit stop situation. Remember, yeah. Remember, if we stay green, these leaders Some that stayed out will have to pit. These other guys that didn't stay out, you know, just saying. Guys like to wait hunt. Yeah. You hate to say it, but he's going to have to hit the road within the next 25 laps. Tom Craig will have to hit the road. Jeff Unix does not. Win oh, camp. three wide, three wide, three wide. Unix thinks better of it, checks out of it. Adam, this 33 trooper looks like he's a man on a mission right uh, now. He was quick earlier. Remember, he was inside the top five and had that little issue. He, he was in second for the first portion yeah. of this race before that yellow came yeah. out. And then remember, hey, I got into a little bit of an incident with the 21. So we'll see here um, if maybe this 33 can get back to the 21. Good race it's side by side. Oh, the 89 closing in. Man, Derek, I'm gonna be honest. If we now, if we stay green, I'm looking at who has to pit as far as playoff guys. Wayne Hunt, William Kemp, for sure has to hit hit road. Just saying, that would be. Well, here's the deal. I think if we get a yellow, if anyone has tires left, they will be 100%. taken. Yeah, you've got to take them now. You're going to win it. We're going to find out in about 15 laps. Todd and, you know, Dwayne and all them. That's, about, that's when their window has to open. And then we come down. And honestly, if you've got to come down, Derek, do you do it a little bit later? Yeah, because at least then, you know, you'll have the tire advantage. Yeah. You don't want to do it, say, on like, like 130. Yeah, because then you can't make up any time. Yeah, like, you've got to be time. doing it very soon here. Is actually, Adam, this battle for the fourth place position has went from two trucks to three trucks. Now, I, you can go ahead and throw five trucks into this right now, all battling for this one position. Yeah, four of them is playoff, guys. Yeah. yeah. And a little bit of news update. Trent Wrangler, he must have us on the uh, plane somewhere. Because uh, he's now on the back bumper. How about that? 17. Yeah. He's made up a lot of time. I didn't think he was going to wait uh, uh, around Brent that quick. Yeah, he got around uh, the 46 and the 24 pretty much with ease. For the lead. He's having a battle. No. Race for the lead right now. Johnny working on a back bumper. Todd Curry. Mike Tremarch. Yeah, I was thinking about this. Out of D2 got... Yeah, I was about to say, these two guys get together. Jamarthen's in a... He looks good, yeah. He's in a golden opportunity right now. I agree. I like what Jamarthen's out. Make these guys race and take advantage. Because we know the 21's got a pit. Right. Oh, look at the three wide behind him. Dwayne Hunt. Oh, boy. And we're catching a lap car. <laughs> I'm trying to go back and but forth. The 26 did pass the 17. Yeah, so that's uh, right now, Seraph, he's out. Wow. Now, the good thing for Seraph that he's got going is that Dwayne Hunt's got a hip hit road. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that works good for him. And he's the only one. Jeff, or not Jeff, you know, um, William Kip also has to hit pit road. Up front for the lead. Johnny looking underneath Todd Cray. Who can only go probably, at most, probably 14 more laps, I would say, at most. Maybe less. Yeah, and I'm wondering if that's starting to sink into the 21's mind. Uh, that he's got to hit pit road here soon, or is he going to try to... I'll leg it out the whole way, but that, that is still 30 laps away. 
apologize, man. It's a, it's a sad thing to say. Todd Cray, unfortunately, always gets put in these situations where something happens. He, he He's going to Todd Curry himself out of this race. And, I mean, if we, yeah, if we don't get a yellow. Like, I mean, not to be just mean, but. been Todd Cray luck this year. Yeah. I mean, he's been fast, been dominant, pretty much. I can almost just go ahead and say dominated this race tonight. And, and I think he's just going to fall up short unless he gets a yellow right now. Yeah, he, he needs a yellow right yeah. now. He, he needs to get up before he hits pit road. And like I said, at most, he could go probably. Something happened left. back here. Oh, 19 pit road. Yeah, that's what we know. He had to hit pit road, and there it is. He pit a little bit earlier. I mean, that's a smart move to do. Thank you, Yeah, no. now, now it's pitch sooner rather than later now. Usually you try to wait as long that's as possible. That's why I did not now. understand it. Why didn't everybody else get when caution started coming? I did not quite understand the idea of staying out. By the way, yeah, that might bring in Todd Craig. This time it is. It's going to bring in Todd Craig. Does anybody else follow down? Oh, Derek, that's a lot sooner than I expected. Got a, hey, they got the head hit, hit road shooter. Right I call it now. Johnny and them short. We haven't seen nobody go over 65 laps yet. Bryson Thomas is on 64. We need to watch him and see if he can make it a little bit further. No. I think there's a couple guys short. If you're short, Derek, do you want to hit pit road if you know you're short? Or do you try to save gas? Like, you got to save five laps, I'm thinking. Or do you take you two can, tires? You could save five laps, but you got to think you've got almost a one lap advantage. Save now. You got to start saving Yeah, you right got to save now if you want to do it. Because, now, I mean, Kip is, uh, hasn't big... hit pit road, but watch for him to hit pit road right here. He is on the bottom, so he would. He does have great access to get to pit road if he needs to. We'll see here going through turns three and four. He He's bringing it down. He's yeah. bringing it down now. Four laps. It's the most I've seen anybody do. And what will it put Johnny in them Johnny's at? Johnny's at 43 right now. Now, Steve Eunice is at 37. Trent Wrangler's at 35. Yeah, but that's fuel only. So, but, I, but I, think, I like though, it. What, like, Patrick, back here in 10, 35. How many laps is left? 28? I don't even think they can even make it. Yeah, it's going to be close. Yeah. I think they're short. No, I think so, too. It's going to be very interesting. I think everyone's going to have to try we to come back. We strategy racing. Yeah, we did. What's the uh, baseball score? 2-2. Two Oh, so glad to know that the uh, Braves, Braves are doing. Braves got a oh, what inning? What inning? Still a long way here. Yeah. Battle up front. Twenty-seven is Steve. You know, Jesse Bottle on pit road. Yeah, that, that I think I think you, you got to try something. You got to do something if you're here. I think everyone's short. I do too. I hope so. Because it'd be different, I think, if the 26 was saving, but I don't think he's been saving. The only one I think I really, that would have a chance would be him. Uh, no. He hasn't been saving. That's still way too long. How many laps has he already been, Adam? Not 40. Now, he's three laps short from my estimation, okay? He's coming. He's on lap 39 right now. He's on 39. We got 24 to go. He's three laps short from what I'm seeing. And you got to think, there was a lot save. of yellow laps that pushed it to 64. There's a lot of yellow laps that pushed it to 64. Well, I think this right here just proves it right here. Yeah. Travarthan yeah. on pit road. Yeah, everybody's going to be short. I like that call. That's just a playoff call right there, Derek. Well, Adam, you want to look at a battle for the lead. Yep. Here we go, 27 to the inside of the four. Now, keep in mind, Steve, you know, fresher more gas by six laps, but Steel possibly has to hit pit road. I think they all still got to hit pit road. Watch for people to only take two tires. 
Nobody's be surprised if people take no tires. I, I agree. People are just going to get in there, get enough fuel to get them out and roll because I think Trevartan didn't even go a lap down. Trevartan did take four tires. He is a lap down. Ray Pulking on pit road. Metal first take. Still up front for the lead. Steve Unitz looking to take the lead away out of four. Not going to get it. Was he lead this lap? He, yes. It was close. Did you get it? No, they gave it to, they gave yeah, it to Johnny. It close. So right now, Adam, I've got the four that don't make it. By the way, these guys are running a bit back. Travis McDaniel, Jesse Bonnell, Michael Trevartan, William Kemp don't, don't make it. You don't. I, I think Trevartan makes it. Well, no, I'm just saying that's who the four is oh, that right won't now. make it. As of right now, Trevartan Yeah, now they don't want to caution. If you're Trevartan, you No, don't no, caution. they've got to have this thing to run out now. Unless it involves playoff drivers and it ends their night. But it's yeah. got to involve multiple drivers. Pace here, Atlanta just took the lead. Well, well, you also got time to screw it up. Yep, plenty of time. <laughs> Steve Eunice finally had enough time. Hey, this to did allow the 26, though, and the 89 and the 17 to close up. Well, I'm sorry, that's the 5, but to close up. The front four are playoff, front five are playoff contenders. Yep. And you start to wonder, yeah. you know. When. When, yeah. Right now, the person that. It, there is a large gap in between Duane Hunt and William Kemp right now. And that is for the transfer spot. But we still have, you know, we're just under 20 laps to front. go. Oh, everyone hold their breath, and that's with the lap car. That oh, is with Jesse Bunnell, everyone... by the way, who's a playoff contender with fresher tires. Honestly, I'm I'm actually not surprised by that move. Force the issue. Make these guys I agree. have to I agree. Make them have to do something they're not going to be comfortable with. You know, because I agree with they... that. That helped Jesse right there by doing that, by the way. And look at Lewis. I can underneath them right now. That was that was our race leader, Todd Craig, trying to get his lap back. <laughs> trying to get his lap back. Five but... in the wall. Or, what? The five got in the wall. He did keep it out of the 19. He almost collected the 19 with that. By the way, that 19 is the transfer truck right now trying to make it into the next round. He is racing for his life right now, trying to get to these leaders. Donnie dives out wide here. It's 19 looking on the bottom. He's already passed two trucks in this turn, trying to pass a third one. Can't quite get to the back bumper of the 26. Still waiting. I will tell you right now, there. 56 laps Johnny's been out there. Mm-hmm. The most we've seen is 64, so he can still run eight more laps at most. Trent Ringberg has puts... been out there for 48 laps. Okay, wait. So, it's Trent Ringler might have one lap. Trent Ringler and Patrick both could actually finish first and second. That is close. Contact! Well, contact! The four goes up the racetrack. He's going to definitely give up the lead. That's between the 19 and the 4. Well, it's a good thing they got to win the race to advance because um, if that just cost them the 4 a chance to win this race, I would be fuming. I'm going to be honest with you there. It is going to be close for Patrick. With who? Patrick and uh, Trent. Uh, Trent. Yeah, Trent. And I mean, question close. is, have they been saving? Here's the only thing, though, that will help Trent if it's only them two that can make it. There's almost a six second advantage. So that means that if that 26 runs out on the white flag lap, he will have a six second buffer I will be to go honest, back I hope to the Patrick 93. Finishes in top three. I do too. I I've been really wanting to him all season. He, yeah, he has. He said he was not looking forward to this race. And, and, and right now, by the way, Adam, guess who's in? Right now, that we've said has been out all night long. Bentley Glasser. He is in now. Right now, keep now. He's got 53 laps on his set. He's got We're 10 laps to lap, go. One more lap to what Trent has. Johnny's been out there 60 laps so far. He's got eight more laps to what Trent has. Joshua's in trouble right now. 
because he's going to have to hit pit road to 17. We'll have to I hate road. to say it. I think Trevarthan and Kemp are in trouble right now. What? Well, hold on. we got to keep in mind, Joshua is going to give up a lot of time because he's going to hit pit road. Who? Who? Joshua. Oh, Josh. And there's another one that's going to be very close that I don't think can yep. make it, and that's Adam Matt. He's got 17 in the wall. Uh-oh. Stay green. Joshua's gonna have to hit pit road like right here, I think. He stays out. He's just he's hoping for a caution. And unfortunately, I don't think he's just gonna get it. Yeah, these guys are starting to space out somewhat for the most part. If you're these playoff guys that is safe, back off a little bit. Yeah, now you're going full save mode now. But if you're Chavarth and Kemp, if you're any of those guys, you're getting up here and you're call, you're forcing an issue right now. Battle uh, back here for second. Look at the There's four and Bob's the I mean, back here in traffic, battling a lot of them. I mean, this is... Oh my gosh, this ain't gonna work. Something's about to blow. Here's the deal, though. If Johnny can make it the next few laps, that will mean that Trenton then will make it, I think which could end the time. Watch for the four to hit the road this time next. I'm calling it now. He's got, he would have to go to the bottom. Yep. He can't get too low. He can't get low enough. I think he's, he's good because he. I'm telling you now. I think he's, he's fine. Trouble. I think he's fine. 65 laps he's been out there. That, that, that's still five laps short of what the end of the range that, that it would be. He will have a chance to get to the bottom now. I'm gonna go ahead and say Steve Unis is gonna be good. If the four is made it this long, Steve Unis will be good. He can't get down. I think he can't get down, Derek. I'm telling you, I think that's what's hurting. I think it's fine. But the good news for four. He's fucked in. Good. Yeah. Like it does not matter. Yeah, just the only problem is though. Actually, Adam? If Arthur and Kemp might catch this uh, 19. Ford is the wall. He couldn't get down again. Well, he's going to be able to get down this time. Yeah, well, he's but here's the deal. I think Trent's good. Oh, I agree. I don't think Steve is going to be able to catch Trent. I'm not, you know, he's being honest. Let's see if the Ford comes down. No, he's going to be good. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's good. I think, is he out? I think he's out there. Hold on, I'm getting down to his car. He is slow, he is out. Yeah, he's out of gas. If he's out, that means Joshua's ref has to be out as well. He's out, the 17 is out. Okay, That's playoff now that contender. means that this battle between the 31 and uh oh nine is even bigger what yep. oh, oh yeah yep. spark it takes it away that could be the that could be it right there that can mean the difference between still fighting for a championship oh my goodness to barthin can he clear him the he does he clears out. the 09 the 09 puts a crossover move the 19 still has not pitted as well he does not need to here's your race for who advances what flag is in the air? Here's the deal. These guys are in front of the leader. So these guys still have a lap and a half left to go. To Barth to try to slam the door in the 09. Here he comes. Trent Wrangler wins the race. Trevarth advances at Iowa. Hold on. Hold on. They still got to go another lap. Oh, you're correct. You are correct. Sorry. Trent Wrangler does they win gotta the race. They got to go a whole nother lap. Trent Wrangler the wins the race. Kemp falling off. Rob Jenkins out of gas. Fireworks exploding. Here we go through turns three and four. As long as he gets off the corner, he will make it. Michael Trevarthan advances. William Kemp oh. misses it by three or four tenths at most. Wow. Three tenths he misses it. Your winner. Derek, who advances? Who's eliminated? All right, hold on. Let me let me look. Race winner, Trent Ringler. How about that? Started almost dead last. 22nd place.
Jeff Unit, Steve Unit, Patrick finishing top four with Brentley Glasser. How about Patrick? Good for him. Let's bring in, we'll get our uh, final things here in just a moment. Let's bring in Trent Ringler. While Derek makes sure everybody's good, we'll bring in Trent to pick up the win. I know who's Trent in. Trent Ringler, though. it's Adam and Derek up in the booth. You got a copy. Hey, Trent, you got us? Uh oh. You having trouble? I think he's having trouble with his mic. We'll get him in just a second, but Trent Wrigler does pick up the win. We will grab him in just a moment. Jeff Unit. <laughs> By the way, who gets it? Uh. Just a second. Here we go. Jeff Unit. It's Adam and Derek up in the booth. You got a copy. Hey, I got you guys. P2 tonight, man. Started th uh, third. Um. Moving on to the next round. That's the big thing. This race was absolutely chaotic from the get-go. Talk us through your night. How much yeah, it's all about advance. <laughs> uh, he had an extra uh, 1.2 laps left, at about a quarter of a gallon. Wow. Talk. Yeah, us but as you said, it's all sure thing. Yeah, um, I had a couple couple of things that didn't go my way there. I know we uh, on the first green flag pit stop, I pitted while the caution came out and kind of got stuck in a bad spot and ended up losing a lap there. Uh, did get the wave around uh, the next caution, which was fortunate. Um, and I had to kind of climb my way back up through the field. Um, we just kind of were always didn't have great track position after that until the uh, until the end. We decided to take tires and top off the tank, which ended up being a smart decision there. With uh, and we had the long green flag around at the end. You've been and having... it didn't, was a little bit. Of... I'm sorry. Go ahead. As I say, uh, that didn't seem like it necessarily might be the right call with all the chaos going around us. But ended up working out. You've been having some momentum go your way. Uh, the last few weeks, and, and that's a good thing. So I got to ask you next week at Texas, um, a mile and a half track. Everybody's going to be good when it comes to these playoffs. Everybody that in here now, that advance will be good there. What's your thoughts on heading into Texas? Um, usually pretty good at the mile and a half, so I'm looking for that. I uh, don't really like the new configuration of Texas as much as the old one, but um, you know, it's uh, it's kind of an equalizer out there. You're pretty much right up in almost the entire way around the track. So it's going to be all about staying out of trouble and doing the right strategy and all that stuff, and hopefully it works out for us. Uh, yeah, we, you're right. We do have some momentum the last few weeks, and we're running strong and up front. Um, so it's uh, we hopefully we can make it to the final four. That's it's all about. Man, congratulations on the advance. That's a big thing. Shout outs and all that. You want to give out? Um, just shout out to my dad. I know he's always watching and be excited to see us uh, see the Irish boys run two three. It's always good to beat my brother. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, <laughs> yep, <laughs> right. And uh, thanks to you guys. Looking forward to watching the broadcast after the race. Yes, sir. Thanks, buddy. We'll move him back up. And he was correct. It was. Steve was his brother. And we're going to talk to him right now. Steve Unich had a great night putting it in P3. Steve, it's Adam and Derek up in the booth. You got a copy? Hey, guys. Yeah. Finishing P3, man. Um, in a race that, honestly, you was one of the fastest trucks in. But still a third-place finish. A lot of momentum going to next week at Texas. Talk us through your playoff night here tonight. Yeah, it was a pretty good night. I mean, I was actually not one of my better tracks, but, um, you know, we got a lot of long runs there, um, you know, the beginning and the end there, and that's that plays to my advantage. So um, was able to, once we got, you know, 30 laps or so in the run, um, started to move forward. And, you know, I definitely had nothing for, for Todd at the, at the beginning, and probably nobody did. Um, if it had just, you know, hadn't gone down to pit strategy and, and whatnot. Um, and then, uh, you know, I took, had a, for a little bit fresher tires, I think, than a lot of the other guys at the end. Um, it definitely didn't have to worry about fuel since uh, uh, Jeff and I elected to come down and top off on that last caution, which paid off big time. Um, it sucks because I, you know, Trent kind of snuck past me there. Um, I was having such trouble getting past Johnny, and uh, he just took advantage. I was good driving, and Jeff did the same thing to me, I think. Um, so, uh, but happy to come home third. I mean, really, the the goal was to get through the playoffs to the next round. Did that. Uh, would have been great to get a win. Still chasing it for this year, but um, happy to move on. Finishing second to uh, your brother, you probably hate, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we have a pretty good. Uh, we don't. I wouldn't call it a rivalry at all. You know, we're, we're just happy for each other. Um, happy we both moved on and got good finishes. What's your thoughts on Texas? Uh, a mile and a half track, a new configuration. What's your thoughts heading there? Um, I mean, if they could. Uh, uh, bulldoze it and turn it back into the old Texas in a week. I'd be all for that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I, I run decent at the uh, at the new one, too. Haven't done it a whole lot, but um, imagine I'll be doing a little bit extra testing this week. 
to get ready. But um, but yeah, I do like the old Texas better. But the you know the new one's not too bad. I haven't done it in trucks though. For sure on that, man. Shout out to all that. Congratulations, third place. Um, yeah, shout out to my dad if he's watching. Um, Tampa SUV rental. Uh, Infinite Hero, um, all the guys in the league for another good race. So we're trying to have green flag pit stops like we usually do here, um, and plenty of good racing. And everybody who advanced in the playoffs, congrats. Anybody who didn't make it, uh, still had a great season. And um, uh, yeah, way to go, man! Good job tonight. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot buddy. All right, we'll move him back up once I figure out how to do all this. Now we can talk to our winner, uh, Trent Ringler, finishes in P number one. We'll see if we got him this time. Trent, sign him up for booth. You got a copy? Got it. P yeah, one gotcha. or not, man. Um, let's be honest. You, you had a you had a long ways to go to get up there, but it pays off. What's that like to feel coming out here picking up a win? You haven't been in this situation in a while. We, we can talk to you in a little bit. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, last two races, I died or I got you know killed on lap one. So this is the first race in three weeks that I completed the lap. Uh, yeah, it was good. I just hung out in the back and uh tried to save tires and that first run ran up to 10th uh before we pitted uh and saving tires was huge backing up the corners it was really tight entry for me so i was just backing up the corners trying to save that right front and it seemed to pay off is that something you, you talked about you, you of course didn't you didn't qualify you wanted to start in the back is that something you wanted to do when you come in here and notice practice a lot of guys was having trouble in practice is that something you make the decision then or was that just yeah. a goal coming in it is okay uh, yeah and coming in i'll be the last two weeks i've you know died like i said the first lap so i just wanted to make sure i was way out of the way of anything that might happen so yeah i just pulled off and let everybody go and uh got clear definitely a smart move overall it looks like 14 laps led texas next week and once again this playoff format a little bit different than normal basically you got to win and have good finishes every week what's your thoughts heading there uh hey we can go uh so that that should be fun i think i can go there worry three i believe i'm on to the final round with this win maybe not i can't remember either to be honest <laughs> i'm not sure um I, I guess i'll find out but if i am then uh yeah sure we can we can qualify up front and race hard. For sure on that one, man. Shout out to all that you want to give out. Oh, hey, everybody at FSR. It's a great group of guys. And uh, these guys here that run this league, this is probably this is the best league I've ever been a part of as far as how well it's ran. Uh, Jeff and Patrick, I believe, uh, is the other fellow that runs it. If there's anybody else that helps out with this league, they, they do a great job. Uh, it's and I've been in several leagues. And these guys are really, really good at what they do. So it's been fun. Hey, man, good job tonight. Heck of a drive. Thank you. Thanks a lot, buddy. We'll move him back up. And with that, Derek, who is eliminated before? Because I want to get one more interview. But who is eliminated and who made it? Good talk, Derek. We always uh, rely on your expert. Okay, there we go. Sorry, there I forgot is. my mic was muted. All right, so Travis McDaniel. Jesse Bunnell, mm -hmm. William Kemp, Michael Trevarthan. Oh, Trevarthan got eliminated? Because You're the right. 17 did not run out of gas. You're right. And was able to cross the line in P8. And they were still two seconds wow. off the 19. And I, I guess That's I looked at the P and seen eliminated. Johnny and didn't think anything about it. That so. is some big names that got eliminated. Mm, especially Kemp. Bunnell and McDaniel. Yeah. McDaniel. Yeah, Bunnell, who has won a race this season. McDaniel, who won races. That is, that's crazy. One more interview, guys, before we let you go. Just because I want to pull this man in because he deserves an interview after the night. I think I know who you're talking about. Patrick, it's Adam and Derek up in a booth. You got a copy? Yes, I do. P4 tonight. I've been wanting to do this interview for a while. P4 tonight, man. You told us pre-race that you did not have high hopes. What do you think now? Uh, I guess you gave me some good luck. I did. That's about all. <laughs> I did pick you, just for the record. I guess Derek better pick me more often. <laughs> <laughs> Man, talk about it, because you were in a lot of traffic at a lot of times. It was a very tight race out there tonight. Yeah, it, it was super tight, and then I got scared when we got collected in that... Um, yeah wreck on lap 63 and then i went in and managed to fix the damage there was 
about 53 seconds. And then on that final caution, we're riding around and coming to two to go and uh, looking through, you know, my dashboard and seeing that we were at like 12.5 gallons in the truck and we took on 14. So I went and topped it off and it held. Definitely pays off, man. Well, I wanted to put you down here. Congratulations on fourth place finish. I believe that's your best finish now this season. Definitely deserved. Um, any shout outs you want to give out before we let you go? Yeah, definitely Infinite Hero. And then uh, you guys thank Jeff and uh, Adam for the continued support and help running this league. And all, all the members overall for all the good racing so far this season. And hopefully it continues and goes on for good, some good time. For sure on that, man. Hey, good job, man. I want to congratulate you. Thank you, guys. All right, Derek, thoughts on the race. It was a wild one. Yeah, and I do feel kind of bad for thinking that Traverson made it. Yeah, and I do too. I thought he did too. I I thought I thought he had it made too, and I feel bad about it. But I mean, like you said, four guys got eliminated. Now we go into next week, and now we go. We just took out a little chunk at them next week. We take out half the drivers next week. When, when I told when if we came in here, and I would have told you the guys that got eliminated, would you have believed me? No. There's no way. I'll be honest. One of my final four got eliminated my tonight. So. My champion got eliminated. Well, glad to know that I'm never going based off of you for <laughs> March Madness because uh, I'm never listening to hey, you. I've won March Madness. Anyway. Don't I? Um, man, what a quad, what a crazy race. But that would do it for us tonight, guys. We'll be live tomorrow from Kansas for the iRacing East Series playoff race number one for them, uh, round three. So make sure y'all tune in for that. That'll do it for us. For Adam Chapman, Derek Pemberton, y'all have a great night. Take care. We'll see y'all soon, and God bless.